Hello all, welcome to Brilliant Coaching Classes. I am Nilima Patil. In this video, we are going to solve exercise 3.2 of understanding quadrilaterals. First sum, find x in the following figures. Two figures are given in the textbook. I have drawn here first figure that is A. Here the exterior angles. Two exterior angles are given of this triangle and one exterior angle is not given which is given as x. So we have to find the value of this x. Now you know the property of exterior angles of a polygon. Sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. So here two angles are 125, 125 each and third angle is unknown. We will find out that angle the measure of angle x. So here we will write 125 degree plus 125 degree plus x degree is equal to 360 degree. Reason sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. Now solve this 125 degree plus 125 it is 250 degree plus x degree is equal to 360 degree. Now we will shift this to 50 there so we will get x is equal to 360 degree minus 250 degree and the answer is x degree is equal to 0, 6 minus 5 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. So it is 110 degree. So that unknown angle x, the measure of this angle x is 110 degree. Next figure B, this is a pentagon and here the angles given are, see here this angle is 90 degree. The marking is here of 90 degree that symbol then this angle is 70 degree this angle is 60 degree now here the interior angle is given 90 degree but if the interior angle is 90 it means exterior is also 90 because this side is perpendicular to this side so this is a perpendicular therefore both the sides of that line the angles are 90 degree each and we have to find this angle x measure. Now you know that sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degree. So here sum of all these five exterior angles is equal to 360 degree using that property we will find the value of x. So right I will start from here. So this is 90 plus 60 degree plus again here 90 degree plus 70 degree plus x degree is equal to 360 degree and here we will write the property sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. Now solve this. So here 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 9 is 24, 24 plus 7 is 31. So it is 310 degree. 310 degree plus x degree is equal to 360 degree. Now we will shift it that side towards RHS. So 360 degree minus 310 degree. Therefore x is equal to 50 degree. Therefore measurement of this unknown angle x is equal to 50 degree. Question number 2. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon. Regular polygon it means all its 
sides measurements are equal as well as the measure of each angle is equal. First, nine sided figure. So, here we have to find measure of each exterior angle. So, what is given? Number of sides. Number of sides is equal to 9 and already we know that sum of all the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. Sum of all exterior angles exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. Now, we will find out measure of each exterior angle. Measure of each exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by 9 because number of sides is 9. So, number of angles are also 9 there. Simplify this 9 1s are 9, 9 4s are 36 and 9 zeros are 0. So, 40 degree. The answer is measure of each exterior angle of this regular polygon with 9 sides is 40 degree. Similarly, we will solve the second sub question of this question number 2. Now, here number of sides is given 15. Number of sides is equal to 15. Then sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. We already know that. So, again we will write here sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. Now, we will find out measure, measure of each exterior angle of this polygon with 15 sides. Measure of each exterior angle is equal to 360 degree divided by 15 because number of sides are 15 and 360 is the sum of all the exterior angles measurement. Now, simplify this 15 ones are 15, 15 twos are 30, 6 is remainder, then this 0, 60, 15 fours are 60. So, the answer is 24 degree. So, measure of each exterior angle of this polygon with 15 sides is 24 degree. Sum number 3. How many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of an exterior angle is 24 degree? So, what is given here? The measure of an exterior angle. It means each exterior angle's measurement is 24 degree. Measure of an exterior angle is equal to 24 degree and the property of uh, sum of all the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. So, sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degree. So, using these two numbers we can find out number of sides of that regular polygon. Number of sides is equal to 360 degree by 24, de 24 degree. Now, we will simplify this 12 2s are 24, 12 3s are 36 and this 12 zeros are 0, then 2 1s are 2, 2 15s are 30. Therefore, that polygon has 15 sides. Therefore, number of sides is equal to 15. That polygon has 15 sides. Now, we will solve question number 4. 
how many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angles is 165 degree. Now here measure of the interior angle is given using this measurement of the interior angle first we will find out the measurement of the exterior angle. Now you know that sum of the interior angle and exterior angle is 180 degree because they form the angles in linear pair and sum of the angles in linear pair is 180 degree. So here given is measure of the interior angle, measure of interior angle is equal to 165 degree using this we will find out measurement of the exterior angle each exterior angle measure of exterior angle of the polygon is 180 minus 165 180 degree minus 165 degree is 15 degree so measurement of each exterior angle of that polygon is 15 degree now using this measurement of exterior angle will find out how many sides that regular polygon has. We know that sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degree and using this we will find out number of sides of that polygon. Number of sides is equal to 360 degree by 15 degree. Now simplify this 15 ones are 15, 15 twos are 30, 6 is the remainder and 15 fours are 60. So 24. Number of sides of that polygon is 24. That polygon has, that regular polygon has 24 sides. Question number 5. There are two sub questions. A. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with measure of each exterior angle as 22 degree? And B question is, can it be an interior angle? It means this 22 degree. Can this 22 degree be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Why? First, we will solve part A. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with measure of each exterior angle as 22 degree? So given here measure of each exterior angle is equal to 22 degree. We know that sum of all exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degree. Now using these two values we will try to find out the number of sides of that polygon. Number of sides is equal to 360 degree by 22 degree. Simplify 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, here 2 ones are 2 remainder 1 then 16, 2 eights are 16, 2 zeros are 0. So 180 degree by 11 degree. Next, we will divide this 180 degree by 11 degree. So, 11 ones are 11, remainder is 7, take this 0 down, now it is 70, 11 sixes are 66, remainder is 4. Now, we will take a point and give here 0, 11 threes are 33, and again we will we'll get some remainder and you can go dividing, you will get the answer in decimal fraction. So here we got 16.3 and something again you will get. So here number of sides is 16.3. Now is it possible to have number of sides in decimal fraction? No. The number of sides of any polygon cannot be in decimal fraction. The number of sides can be 16 or 17 but it cannot be 16.3 and therefore the polygon is not possible having exterior angle as 
22 degree therefore the answer is the polygon is not possible the polygon is not possible and why it is not possible because number of sides we got is in decimal fraction next part can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon so if we take this 22 degree as interior angle then using that we'll find out the exterior angle and then again we'll solve like this and we'll see whether in that case the number of sides is a natural number or again it is a decimal fraction if it is a decimal fraction then the polygon is not possible so we'll solve part b here we'll take measure of interior angle 22 degree measure of interior angle is equal to 22 degree using this we'll find out measure of exterior angle measure of exterior angle 180 minus 22 degree so it will be 8 then here 7 minus 2 5 158 degree so exterior angle is 158 degree now we will find out number of sides number of sides of the polygon is equal to sum of measure of all exterior angles 360 degree by measure of exterior angle and now we will simplify this so here it will be 2 7s are 14 2 9s are then here 2 1s are 2 8s are 16 and 0 are so you will get 180 degree by 79 degree now again if you solve this further if you divide 180 degree by 79 degree you will get the answer in decimal fraction only because this is not perfectly divisible so you will get the number of sides in decimal, uh, decimal fraction and therefore again here the regular polygon is not possible therefore regular polygon is not possible so this is the answer for question number 5 question number 6 what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon why and b part of that sixth question is what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon so let us see first part of sixth question that is a what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon now see the polygon with minimum number of sides so it is a triangle which has three sides because there is no polygon with two sides so minimum number of sides is three and now let us see what is the measurement of the interior angle of that triangle and it is a regular polygon it means for that triangle all the sides are equal all the angles are also equal so it is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle which has minimum number of sides now what is the measurement of the interior angle each interior angle of this equilateral triangle it is 60 degree measure of interior angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree now if we increase number of side instead of taking three sides if we take four sided polygon now it is a square because it is a regular polygon all sides are equal all angles are equal four sided figure so it is a square and you know that each angle of a square is 90 degree so you observe this if the number of sides 
are increased then the measure of interior angle also increases here the measurement of each interior angle is 90 degree which is more than this and therefore our answer is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon is 60 degree so write the answer the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon is equal to 60 degree as the number of sides increases the measurement of the interior angle also increases if you take a five sided figure then measurement of each interior angle will be greater than 90 degree so this is part a now see part b what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon now this is the minimum interior angle 60 degree so using this only we can write the answer for b part maximum exterior angle and we'll get that by subtracting this from 180 degree because we know that the exterior angle and the interior angle exterior angle and the interior angle they form a linear pair of angles and they are supplementary their me measurement the uh, sum is 180 degree therefore the b part answer b part the maximum the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon regular polygon is equal to now 180 degree minus 60 degree is 120 degree 120 degree and here we have completed exercise 3.2 thank you